What's up guys, it's me Eric B and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a brake pad upgrade on the FC10 here and as we all know, the brakes on the FC10 suck. Alright, so hopefully that small upgrade will increase the grabbing power over the factory pads. Don't plan on doing any brake lines or anything like that at this time just because I don't plan on taking the bike to the track anytime soon. And for those of you that haven't done a lot of work to your brakes or anything yourself, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, just so you guys are tracking, I went with the Brembo centered racing pads. Did a little bit of research online and on YouTube here, and this seemed to be the pad everyone was uh, going with when they did the pad upgrade on their FC slash MT10. All right guys, so this is a fairly simple process and really all you're gonna be doing is removing this uh, big clip right here that holds your two brake pads inside of the caliper. So you have a retaining pin that's right here that needs to be pulled out in order to remove those pads. And there's two uh, little cotter pins or clips on each side. And you need to get yourself something, you know, this is a little small screwdriver, but just something that you can stick in here and you can kind of rotate those clips down just like that. And then you're able to take something like some needle nose pliers, just grab those clips and pull them out. All right, so once you have those pins removed, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove this retaining pin here. So you just wanna kinda go on this side, kinda push that out, and then take uh, some pliers or some needle nose, something like that, and kinda just pull that out. And that wasn't supposed to really pop out like that. But it comes out, as you can see, it has two little holes here for those cotter pins. And then just take note of this uh, retaining clip here that these two longer arms go up on the top and uh, you just pull those out. Once you do that, you have easy access to your pads now. You kind of want to make sure you kind of just take your fingers and kind of just push on that and that kind of pushes those pistons back into the caliper. So it makes it easier to uh, take those pads in and out. So now that I've done that, I should be able to just slide the stock one out and then we'll put in the, uh, the aftermarket one. All right, just so you guys can see the difference. Here's the new pad, here's the old. So you can see the backside at all. All right, now let's go ahead and slide our new pads inside the caliper. One, slide the other one in. All right, just making sure that these uh, stay lined up with the holes here. And once again, remember that these uh, outer arms here on this clip stay facing up. Go ahead and line up our, our pin. This may be a little, uh, a little work to get this in because you're gonna have to kind of move it around in order to get everything lined up. All right, sorry if I'm getting in front of the camera here. I wanna be able to see what I'm doing. And go ahead and take your cotter pins, slide them back in the hole, boom. All right. All right, and she's all done. And then you can basically just take those pins and slide them back up a little bit so they're kinda out of the way. And you're done. Also, before you go out and ride, don't forget to squeeze the brake lever, get all that fluid back down into the caliper and squeeze those pads onto the rotor. All right, let's give her a quick test in the old parking lot here. See how they feel. I'm sure there's no gravel. Oh yeah, they feel pretty good. Not too bad. Oh yeah, much better, much better. My uh, my stock pads, man, it just felt like they would not, it just wouldn't stop. It would just keep going, you know, like it was still so slick. These actually have good bite to them. So I probably think this is the most easiest and most inexpensive uh, upgrade you could do to the brakes on the uh, FZ slash MT10. I hope this video was uh, informational for, for some of you guys out there. And for those of you that, you know, that don't do a lot of work on your brakes or anything, I just wanted to show you, you know, how easy it was to actually change the pads out. 
So now that you've uh, seen that, if you guys got any comments or questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below, guys. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.